Welcome back to Gala Point. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about um, Da Vinci Resolve uh, Release 14 as a video editing program that I am starting to like more and more. Um, I've been using Final Cut Pro X and Premiere from Adobe until now, and uh, I don't see myself really uh, using them anymore. I uh, have been experimenting with Da Vinci Resolve for about a month now and I am very satisfied with it. This program was known originally or mostly as a color editing program, a very professional color editing program and uh, I think it's still you know the number one choice in Hollywood and in fact if you even use the program just for color editing your, your footage you will be quite impressed with how well the colors, how good they look like, the, the kind of powerful commands that you have access to when you use that program. Um, so I encourage you to try it also because it's a free program. There is also a paid version, which is uh, I think about $300 or 300 euros. And the, the, the paid version, I think it gathers more to a studio uh, workflow, you know, where you, where you can work with more people together on the same project. You might have a few more effects and it might be a little bit faster. This is something I've heard. I haven't verified it myself, probably because of licensing of to encode 264 or decode 264. I'm not sure about that. I gotta verify. But to be honest, I'm quite satisfied with the speed of my free version until now. And I do edit 4K video. Um, I add effects, I color correct, I stabilize. I find the stabilization and tracking to be very strong in this uh, program and probably easier to use in some cases than on Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. Um, and uh, it also has very strong sound uh, control. Delivering, which is actually rendering, uh, it, your project is very easy and very uh, well organized, I believe. You don't have to access an external program like Compressor or um, Media Encoder on Adobe. It's very easy to create your custom settings. And um, I would say uh, it, it just is faster, it's easier, it's more clear. Uh, and it's all within the same program. You don't have to you know, go through different windows and programs and stuff. Um, I encourage you to try that actually. And uh, I, um, as I said, I was mostly using Final Cut Pro X and uh, Adobe Premiere. Final Cut Pro X is very, very fast. I have to say. I have to tell you that if you have, of course, it only works for Apple computers or maybe Hackintosh, I suppose, but it's still the Mac operating system. But uh, I was able to actually edit 4K video and actually even scrub, you know, on a, on a MacBook Air before, before now uh, using Final Cut Pro X. This is unthinkable on Premiere that, you know, doing 4K on, on a Mac. A MacBook Air and Premiere was a disaster. I just tried it, but it wasn't a very good idea. And uh, I think it's unthinkable on um, DaVinci Resolve. I tried to install DaVinci Resolve on i7 PC, laptop, or even desktop, um, and it didn't work that well. I don't, I've heard actually of people that have PCs with DaVinci Resolve running perfectly, but I think you do need strong specifications and a very good graphics card and probably um, have all the components work well together. Um, I ended up buying a MacBook Pro i7 with the best graphics card in the market at the moment, it's 16 gigabytes, so, um, so that I could run this program well, and it does run perfectly. Um, I've heard that some people manage to run it properly on smaller MacBook Pros too. I don't know, I didn't want to take the risk because if I'm out on an assignment for a client, I can't have, um, you know, I, I, want it, I, I want everything to be fluid. So uh, I'm very satisfied. I really, once again, encourage you to go and try it. It's free. You can Google um, Da Vinci Resolve 14. And, oh, by the way, you can also get, um, if you have a budget uh, and if you're interested, you can get uh, external consoles that will make your work easier. If you work in a studio or... You know, if you don't want to use just mouse and keyboards, um, you can take a look at that. It's a very interesting program. It's a very strong choice. It's solid. And as I said before, the way you control the colors is amazing. And I don't think any program, no, no matter what plugins you will put in, um, will give you such such a strong control 
of your coloring and uh, effects that you can add to them. One of the things I like about DaVinci Resolve used on a MacBook uh, Pro the, with a touch bar version is the fact that it really does use and exploit the touch bar. If you select the color corrector tab, you will see that you have a number of color correction tools on your touch bar on the Mac. And this is actually quite practical. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are if you want and uh, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.